with 4 meters 28 in length and 1 meter 79 width, the exterior dimensions of the Golf 8 are at the level of its predecessor. Also, with regards to the wheelbase with now 2 meters 64 and the height of now 1 meter 46, not much has happened. But what is more important, the new Golf is immediately recognizable as a Golf. Especially in the side view, you can still find the typical Golf proportions and the characteristic Golf C pillar. The optional IQ Light LED Matrix headlamps with their 22 LEDs each illuminating the road always perfect, depending on the driving situation. For this purpose, signals from the front camera, data from the navigation system as well as the steering angle and the current speed are analyzed. In addition, the front of the new Golf looks much wider. One reason for this is the now much wider lower air intake. In addition, the top version of the taillights are offering a switching LED signature, the so-called click-clack effect when braking. Also on board then is the dynamic indicator with a wiping effect. The new Golf comes with six different powertrains and they deliver a power range between 66 up to 180 kilowatts. Important is most of them are available with a DSG, except the smallest engine, this is a manual one. And then nearly all of them are available as a mild hybrid system, but not the new TGI, which is a 1.5 liter natural gas engine that delivers 96 kilowatt. And the other exception is the new plug-in hybrid, which is, a, which is a 1.4 liter petrol engine combined with an electric motor, and that delivers either 150 or 180 kilowatts. The 180 version, by the way, is the new Golf GTE. The interior of the new Golf is really a lot more modern than with the predecessor. So when you look in the, into the cockpit, as standard, you do find a 10.25 inch full digital cockpit. And this gives you the opportunity to configure it the way you want. So you not only find, for instance, the full map here, you also find, if you want, on the right and on the left hand side, extra information. And the good thing is, you can choose what information you want to see on which side. And if you say, ah, I want the full map, you just press the view button a bit more longer and then these extra informations are completely gone. And as you see, you have, of course, different modes which you can use as, yeah, as we already know it from the um, predecessor's digital cockpit. Another highlight is the infotainment. As standard, it comes with an 8.25 inch screen, but you can have this one here. It's a 10 inch screen. And the good thing is you can completely configure it the way you want. So you just, just touch and move like you may know it already from your mobile phone. So that's really quite easy and um, very nice to use. So you can really configure it the way you want. On top of this, you do find informations like uh, the map with extras here. You can swipe, so you can really do it. Maybe you already know it from the Touareg. Uh, you can really configure that the way you want as well. So that really gives you the opportunity to have the car you prefer to drive. On top, we do find a touch bar down here. One, you, once you will find here the opportunity to set the temperature inside of the car because it comes as standard with a climate control. You can also do this while swiping. And in the middle, you find another one, which gives you the opportunity to um, use or work with the cart here and to work with the noise of the infotainment. 